Today we're going to talk about solving a system of equations on a TI-84 graphing calculator. Here's the system we're going to start with. y is equal to x minus 7 and 2x plus y is equal to 5. In order to do this, we want to start by standardizing our window size so that we all are looking at the same thing. So if you will go to Zoom, you can find that button right there, and choose Selection 6, which is Zoom Standard, we'll be ready to start. The first thing we need to do is put in both of our equations into the calculator. In order to do this, what we'll do is we'll start with the first equation, y equals x minus 7, and we'll go to the key y equals. We should get a screen that looks like this. We can always find the variable x on that key, and then we just put in minus 7. You can scroll down by pressing enter to the second equation available, and that's where we'll work on 2x plus y equals 5. We're first going to have to subtract 2x from both sides in order to get y equals negative 2x plus 5. And the negative is not the minus sign on a TI-84. The negative is this key that's just to the left of enter. And it is a little tiny negative that's up higher than the subtraction symbol. So once we've done this, we can get ready to actually do the graphing. The way to get this screen is to press the graph key, which is found on the upper row to the far right. You should get a screen where the two lines are found to be intersecting in quadrant 4. Next what we're going to do is we're going to let the calculator find the point of intersection for us. So we should press the second key, which is the blue key, and the trace key in order to get the blue calculate menu. And the blue calculate menu will look like this. We're interested in the intersect function, which is option 5. So we can either scroll down using um, the down arrow until we get to 5 and then press enter, or we could just press 5. And when we do that, what we would get is a screen that looks like this. You can see that y sub 1 equals x minus 7 is displayed in the upper left-hand corner of your screen. And down on the bottom, there should be something first curve. Our curves are actually straight lines, but there should be a cursor that's blinking somewhere on that first line. What you'll do is you will scroll using the left and right arrows just to get that cursor a little bit closer to the point of intersection. It does not have to be exactly at the point of intersection. After we press enter, we'll get another screen that says second curve. And you can see that the other y equals, or y sub 2, is equal to negative 2x plus 5 is displayed in the upper left-hand corner. And this time the cursor will be on the other curve or line. You can move the cursors once again using the left and right arrows so that that cursor is also close to the point of intersection of the two lines. After you pr um, press enter, you'll get something that says guess. Um, I usually just let the calculator do the guessing for me and I press enter one more time and then I get a screen that actually shows me the point of intersection where x is equal to 4 and y is equal to negative 3. This is the same as the ordered pair, 4 comma negative 3, which so shows the solution to this system of equations.